Sorry about the lighting if the lighting isn't the best. But, you know, I have the sun beaming in and it's just, you know, when I closed the blind, it was too dark. So this is what we get. I have my ring light, but it's just doing what it do. Okay. So, and my glasses are, ugh, my glasses are dirty now. But anyway, hey, y'all, I thought I'd come on here really quick to do a chit chat video because I didn't want to not do a video. I wanted to, my goal was to do a Easter tablescape video. But something that I wanted for my Easter table has not come in yet. So, I didn't want to not do anything. So, I was like, I have the house to myself for once. Even my baby Coco went for a ride with her dad. So, I'm like, I'll make a quick little chit-chat video. Let's just talk. Um, it shouldn't be a long video. But anyway, excuse the lighting again. Doing the best I can here. I know I'm going in and out of shadows, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is a fresh face day. No makeup. I have my glasses on. Um, just relaxing. Just talking to my girlfriends. Um, so, anyway, I was wanted to just chit-chat about some things. So, I thought it would be fun to talk about a show that I'm really, really um, interested in. It's a show called The Gilded Age. And it comes on HBO and HBO Max. Um, if you don't have HBO, HBO Mac, Mac uh, you should get it. <laughs> They're one of the few services you should get. And check with your phone because I didn't even realize that it came free with my phone service. And I was like telling my husband, I was like, oh, this show I really want to see, but it's on HBO Max. He was like, well, you know, we have HBO Max with our phone service. I was like, no, I didn't know that. So, um, check with your, you may have it for free. I have that and Apple TV and I, I've had it all this time and I didn't even know it. So sure enough, I put my email in and I have the service. So I've been able to enjoy this show. But anyway, it's called The Gilded Age. It's from the creator of Downton Abbey. If you like period pieces and, uh, like Pride and Prejudice and, um, Jane Austen kind of, movie areas which i love then or you enjoy those kind of books then you will enjoy this this is a book i believe um it's kind of like bridgerton uh, where it's very diverse in the cast but it's not steamy at all even though it's hbo it is not as steamy as bridgerton was so the whole i feel like the whole family could enjoy this of all ages if you haven't watched bridgerton it's on netflix you will love it, honey. Get your popcorn and binge it because you can't, you will be able to get enough of it. I don't know what season two is going to be, but because our boy is gone, but that's okay. Back to the Gilded Age. So the Gilded Age is a wonderful, wonderful show. It's a period piece. And again, I love that it's diverse. It's loosely, it's, it's about um, New York um, in the Gilded Age. It's like the 1800s or whatever, 1880s. 1886 or something like that i probably should have written that down before i got on here but it's about new money versus old money and and classism that existed in that era that still exists um that the people like the vanderbilts and the rockefellers who were considered new money at the time um were coming in who had made a mass a, a lot of wealth and the older people with money did not like that they were new money and coming in and showing their wealth in such a way. And so they they made a list of something called the 400 and only they, they only wanted those people were only one that was like the in crowd. And so anyway, it was just really, it's a really fun show. It's loosely based on, I mean, it's historical because this did happen. Um, and, um, but names and stuff has been changed. Like, you know, some things is, it's, these events really did happen, but the characters and names have been changed. So it's loosely based on the truth, but it's not like a documentary. You know what I'm saying? But they have real events that actually happens, and um, these characters are based on real characters in New York upper society at that time. But what I love about this show is that they have a black character on here called Peggy, and um, it shows that I'm so grateful that they show that during that era, black citizens, newly freed slaves, build communities of wealth. 
in and this shows them in Brooklyn, which is historically correct. And they were wealthy. They had they were doctors and lawyers, and they had their own society. They lived well. They weren't poor, you know, hand to mouth. Um, they did they dealt with the prejudice and the racism that they had to deal with at the time, but they didn't allow it to stop them from pursuing life and happiness, which is so much like what we go through now as um black Americans. So it was just good to see that that they're showing black people in another light, historically truth light, other than just the maid, the servant, or bed witch. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, it's just really good to see them showing them in that way. And they're showing them as um, writers and um, business owners, and they own these beautiful homes, and they have servants themselves. And all of that is, is historically true, and we don't get to see it enough. And so I'm really glad they show it on here. But two, so that's one of the really good things if you are a uh, you know, someone of color and you enjoy these movies, but you never see yourself uh, reflected in these movies, you will really enjoy The Gilded Age for that reason. Um, the costumes are wonderful. The homes, if you love Victorian style homes and furniture and pieces, oh my God, the homes are gorgeous. There is a podcast and a and the podcast has a YouTube channel called, it's HBO YouTube channel, but they go into depth on this show where first of all they're like our long shows um which i love but they they bring on the costume uh designers they talk to the the actors and the cast themselves a lot of them are from broadway so i enjoyed that because i love the theater a lot of the people in this um show or for Broadway. They bring on the costume designers, the set, the props, people who talk about all the different props, and they also give history. So they'll also tell you about some of the places that the mansions that are still around, the ones that aren't still around, um, and they help you figure out historically where everything lands. And they also go in a background of who these characters are loosely based on. So it's just a really good show. It's a feel good show. Um, it shows the strength of women and the roles that women have always played. Whether we, did, even though we didn't have the right to vote, as especially blacks, we didn't have the right to vote. But it shows how much women controlled society and um, how much of a help meet women really were to their husbands, which is so true. These women didn't work. A lot of them didn't work. But they were able to maneuver themselves and host and bring their families. And that's such a big thing that goes into my homemaking and being a homemaker and hosting and, um, and being a partner to your husband. Why um, being a homemaker, a stay-at-home wife is so important and so vital because you back then you helped you would help forge business opportunities for your husband. When your husband would host his business partners in your home, a lot of times deals were made at dinner tables when people were hosting and mingling because it was all about networking and who knew who would get this deal, would get that deal. So the women were really vital with making sure they were in the proper circles, which also allowed their husbands to get in those circles to make those deals and to push the family forward. And also back then it was all about building the, having the right um, marital connections. So they wanted to make sure they stayed in the right circles or they had the right reputations and the right, you know, names so they can make the best matches for their children, which is was ultimately the, you know, the mother's goal is to make sure that her children have the right connection so that they will always be taken care of. So it's a really good show. So please watch it if you get the chance. It's called The Gilded Age. Now, a lot of you know that I um, had reviewed Love is Blind. You can go and look at some of my videos of season one. I really love that season. Um, I still feel like it was, so far, it's the best season. They do have a season two. I did watch season two. Um... It was interesting. Season two was very controversial. Season one was kind of controversial too. Let's be clear. I mean, they had their drama. But season two has um, been a bit controversial. And um, I see why. Um, I agree with some of the criticisms that um, some of the characters are getting. I don't want to give a lot of spoilers because... 
Um, I don't know who's seen it, but please watch it, Love is Blind. It's such a good experiment. The whole thing of just getting to know someone and talk to someone. I know back in my day, uh, me and my husband would stay on the phone for hours and just talk, 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 talk. We could see each other too, but we also was stand up for hours and just talk and listen to each other. We didn't have all the different ways of social media. I mean, there wasn't even texting when, we, I mean, he had a pager. That's about most as it get. I think by the time we got married, we had a cell phone maybe, but it didn't do all the cell phones do now. So, um, Love is Bond is another really good show. And, you know, right now with everything that's going on in the world, like, you know, we're praying for Ukraine and that God keeps them covered and deliver them out of that what's going on with them. Let them get the victory. In the name of Jesus, we are praying for Ukraine. Um, but in the midst of all the crazy that's going on, it's good to just have some escapism. And sometimes reality TV can be too much real. It's like too 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 much drama. So uh, when these lighthearted things come up, you just want to take advantage of them and watch them. So watch Love is blind um if you want me to do a full video on love is blind part two season two i can um something else that has been going on oh prince harry and megan won the naacp award i'm so proud of prince harry and megan uh leave a heart down here for me if you are fans of prince harry and megan i just love that harry decided that He's going to make his own way, and he's going to love his wife, and he's going to love his children. He's going to protect them, and I'm just proud of him. I think his mother would be so proud of him. Um, it seems like the monarchy is solid. They got the old, the old, the dad and his wife, and um, Harry's brother and his wife, and then they have three kids, so um, the monarchy is fine. There's no reason for Harry to stay and get attacked and abused from what, from what I can see in my opinion. And so I'm just glad that he met someone that wasn't so in awe with the royal family that they wouldn't want him to leave. She was like, yo, there's a whole other world that ain't got nothing to do with this royal family. And we can go lay that and be just fine. And I love that for Harry. And they're doing so much good. I really follow them. I'm really big supporters of them. Um, So if you don't like Harry and Meghan, don't come over here. Like, I'm good on you. Like, for real. I'm real serious about Harry and Meghan. I like them. And I just like to see good people win. And from everything I could see about them, they're good people. You go way back. They both been doing, before they met each other, before they knew pe people was watching, they was doing charity, helping people, just good, solid people. So I'm definitely team Harry and Meghan. They're beautiful. They look good. And their children, oh my God, just so happy for them. So anyway... This is just a little chit chat. Um, again, we're prop we're gonna be moving soon. I think we made the decision to move. Um, if we find something we like, we're gonna be moving. Well, not soon this summer. So um, I, I'm not gonna be doing too much more um, too much more decorating than what I already have been doing in this house. But I'll keep you updated because I'm still going to be decorating for all the seasons. You know, we have Easter coming. Um, the And I'm definitely going to celebrate for when my Savior rose up. I've got to do something for that. Um, so I'm going to have a video out for that. Um, but anyway, yeah. So um, I've been excited doing these homemaking videos. I think homemaking is so important. I'm thinking I have something special planned coming up and I'm so excited about it, but stay tuned to do with homemaking. It's, I think it's going to be really fun. And so I'm excited about that. But anyway, I don't want to hold you. I just want to get in here and chit chat. Let me know if you've seen The Gilded Age. Are you going to watch The Gilded Age? Have you seen Love is Blind 2? One or two? And do you love Harry and Meghan as much as I do? Um. Anyway, leave me a comment. More videos to come. Oh, do you guys want me to make some cake videos? My fake cakes that I make? Um, I think I'm going to make one for Easter. So... If you guys want to see me make that cake, leave me a heart or a comment or something. And um, I'll make sure I make a special video just for that. Or I could just do a quick little spot on how I make those. But you can look at my other videos. I have. I think my most popular video is how to make a fake cake. I think it has something like 20,000 views. So 
Um, please check that out. But anyway, I hope that you all have a blessed day. Thank you all for watching, y'all. Let's be kind to each other. It's so much craziness going on. Pray for our president. Pray for our country. I love you guys. Be blessed.